Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use pre-render with your AngularJS web application. Uh, the purpose of using pre-render is to uh, give you a CEO boost, search engine optimization, because when a, when a web crawler for a Google or Microsoft Bing crawls your website, um, usually they only see the JavaScript uh, of Angular or Backbone and they don't see the actual data that it represents. For example, if you have curly brackets and a variable, the AngularJS way, um, the, the web crawler will still see that. But uh, to get good search engine optimization, you're going to want the web crawler to see what the variable represents. So in this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to create a self-hosted version of pre-render. Uh, they do offer a paid uh, hosted solution, but they also open source their code so that way you can self-host it. And then on top of that, I'm going to be creating a very basic um, Node.js Express application that, that demonstrates how the web crawler works. So before we start, there's the assumption that you already have Node.js installed on your computer. I'm going to be doing this demonstration with Ubuntu Linux. I'm running Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit edition. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to install Node.js on Ubuntu. It, uh, it's in one of my previous posts. But for this demonstration, I'm going to assume that you've already, you already have it installed. So let's go ahead and start by cloning the official uh, pre-render um, server from GitHub. So like it says in the instructions, let's go ahead and run the following command. Alright, it should have popped up on your desktop, so let's navigate to it. And since this is a Node.js application, we're going to actually install the Node.js dependencies that come with pre-render. And we can do that by running the following. Alright, with that installed, let's go ahead and run it and make sure that it runs correctly. Oops. Alright, so it looks like it's running, but let's go ahead and test this. In your web browser, let's go ahead and go to localhost, port 3000, and then we're going to do, um, we're actually going to do slash HTTPS, uh, and then www.google.com and then it, it worked. The The CSS and the images are a little weird because it doesn't render those because we're remember we're doing this from the perspective of a how a, a web crawler is going to do it and they don't really care about images and CSS. So we know that the pre-render application is downloaded everything's installed and it's running. So now let's go on to part two. And part two is going to be we're going to create a application that will make use of pre-render. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new terminal. And we're going to I'm going to do everything from my desktop. So if you don't already have Express installed, we're going to install it right now. And in addition to installing Basic Express, we're going to install the Express Generator, so that way we can create quick templates. Alright, perfect. So, we're on our desktop, let's go ahead and create a new project. Now, we do have an Express project on our desktop now. 
Uh, let's go ahead and the first thing that we want to do is we want to install all of the dependencies because again this is a Node.js project and it does come with dependencies that are not yet installed. So let's go ahead and install them. Alright, so all the dependencies that come with Express.js should be installed. We're not done yet though because pre-render has its own dependency in order to use it uh, with a pre-render server. So let's go ahead and install that dependency right now. Alright, so we just installed the pre-render node dependency to our local project. And the next thing we want to do is because by default Express is going to uh, create your project on port 3000 but as you can see from our pre-render project uh, that we started it's already running on port 3000. So let's go ahead and open up our code. I'm going to go ahead and use the atom.io editor from GitHub. We're going to open up the bin and then www file. Sorry about that, my dog was barking. Um, so we opened up our bin www folder. Uh, www is actually a file, it's not a folder, but it's inside your bin folder at the root of your project. So you'll see that the port is set to, to 3000 right now. Let's go ahead and make that 8080 because it's usually a safe choice. And then we're going to go back to our terminal and we're going to start this project. And this will be started by doing the following. Alright, it should be started now. So let's go back to our web browser. And we're going to check to see if it worked. It did work. So we have a basic Express.js project uh, started. Now we're going to start adding the AngularJS stuff to our project. Let's go back into our code and we're going to open up uh, we're going to open up views and then layout and this is where this is kind of the main template file where we're going to include all of our CSS and and JavaScript and anything that's related to our our web page so if you're not familiar with the Jade markup I, I uh, encourage you to go do some research on it it's actually very nice it's what Express runs off of let's go ahead and include the following Alright, so we just included Angular uh, JS from the CDN. Now we're going to go ahead and include a custom JavaScript file. We haven't yet created this file, but let's go ahead and make the include for it. Alright, let's remove that semicolon. Uh, while we're in this file, we're actually going to add another item that is a requirement by pre-render. We're going to include a meta tag. Now we can move, well, while we're in here we might as well do one more thing. We're going to include ng app. Because in our custom.js file that, we, that we're going to create right here, uh, our Angular app name is going to be called example. So let's save that and go to public. And then we're going to create a new file inside of JavaScript it's called custom. And we're going to add the following code.
All right, it's very basic. We created our app, which we just included in the layout.jig file, and we're creating one controller called example controller. Inside that controller, we have a scope variable called message, which just has the plain text, hello world. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go to our views and then index.jig file. We're going to include some heap code here uh, for adding the content of our controller. So let's go ahead and create a new tag. It's going to be called div and then ng controller equals example controller. We're going to indent these because with Jade there are um, extreme uh, indentation rules like Python. So down here we're also going to add our new variable that we just created our scope variable. So let's go ahead and save that. And we can actually go ahead and, and restart our, our um, express site. So let's go ahead and restart it. Going to refresh it. And you can see that it says hello world right here. But we're actually not done. So to, to prove this Let's go ahead and, and go do the following here. Let's go ahead and open up a new terminal. And we're going to do a, a curl on our website that we just created. Alright, so in particular, notice how the Angular JS. Um, variable is still in JavaScript form. It, it doesn't say hello world. This is because the site has not been pre-rendered yet. And to a search engine, all it sees is code. So it's not going to rank you very well uh, when it comes to see, uh, uh, SEO. So this is what we're going to do to correct it now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our app.js file, which is found at the root of your project. And right below the app.set um, commands, let's go ahead and add the following. Alright, this actually needs to be in quotes. I forgot quotes on it. Alright, so what this does is it's actually going to tell our application to pre-render at the following URL. And that's the URL to our pre-render as we, we tested right here. Um, and it'll, it'll pre-render anything that hits that, that page. So let's go ahead and save it. And we're going to restart our express project and let's go ahead and reload the page again of course nothing has changed we're gonna we're gonna clear this and we're gonna test it here and still of course nothing has changed that's because when a when a search engine crawls your web page they don't just type in the URL they add extra parameters to it <coughs> so let's go ahead and do the following in our curl statement. We're going to add the following to the end of it. And you can see this time, instead of displaying message, it's actually displaying the text of that message exactly as it could should, because it's now been pre-rendered by our pre-rendering service. So you might be asking, well, how do I know that the pre-render actually did this? Let's clear this. Let's stop our express project. We're going to comment out the pre-renderer line. And save it. Let's start up our Node.js again. We're going to pass it the same line that we just did. And you can see this time, it's back to message because we disabled the pre-renderer 
but yet we still passed in the same thing that a search engine, uh, that a web crawler would. So we can see that it has not been pre-rendered this time. So why did I do curl instead of just test it in a web browser? I didn't test it in a web browser because web browsers will actually pre-render uh, regardless if you have a pre-rendering service. Uh, it's just a, a feature built into web browsers. But web crawlers, they don't have this pre-rendering technology. They just they just uh, read whatever whatever is spit out to them. And that's where the whole logic of the pre-renderer comes in and how it's helpful with the search engine optimization. Um, so, like I said earlier, the pre-renderer has a paid service, so if you don't want to set up your own service, you can. You can use theirs. <clears throat> it does cost money, but you can see that it's super easy to set up uh, your own pre-render server. So, to elaborate what we did is we set up a, a pre-render server on, on port 3000. We set up a Express.js Angular JS application, and we are running this on port 8080. The Express JS application will call the pre-renderer server that we set up on port 3000, and it will return whatever the pre-renderer returns to us to the web crawler, and that will improve the search engine optimization. That's the whole goal of this. If you like this video and are interested in seeing what else I have to offer, Please subscribe to my channel as well as my written web blog. Thank you.